Hello guys, welcome back to Tenorshare channel. Happy New Year first of all. Though now is 2021, brand new year, but same trouble for iPhone users. Recently some iPhone 10 users found out their devices easily stuck on this connect to computer sign when they restore or update their devices, which showed support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore. Even when they try to turn off their iPhone, it seemed to get into looping. So in today's video, I'll show you the most comprehensive solutions in 2021 to fix this issue. Most of them are totally free. Let's dive in. So first we need to know why your iPhone would get into this issue. It shows support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore on screen, which is as known as recovery mode. It happens when people try to restore or update their iPhone. If it's stuck on the screen and cannot turn on, it might relate it to a software issue when restoring or updating. But you can still try on the first method. To force restart your iPhone, sometimes it may work. To force restart an iPhone 10, you should first press and release the volume up. Then press and release the volume down. And then press and hold the side button until Apple logo appears. Let's get started. Volume up, volume down, then hold the side button. Here is the Apple logo. But it seems could not get rid of the issue. It's looping. If you failed, try to one click to exit with a tool called Reiboot, which is totally free. Let me show you how it works. Connect your iPhone to computer. Then launch Reiboot. When it recognizes the iPhone, click on the second option, Exit Recovery Mode. And boom, just with one click, your iPhone will get out of this issue and become normal again. This method saves your time with convenience. If you're interested in it, you can download to have a try. I will leave the link in description below. If you have iTunes on your computer, you can also consider to fix it with iTunes. That will work too. When you connect your iPhone to iTunes, there will be a pop-up window shows on screen. There's a problem with your iPhone, and it requires to be updated or restored. If you don't want to lose any data on your iPhone, definitely you should choose Update. After clicking on Update, iTunes will start to download the latest firmware of iPhone. I've already downloaded, so iTunes is now start extracting. Then it will update your iPhone. In a few minutes, your iPhone will be updated and go back to life. If you have problem using iTunes because of some errors happened, or your C drive storage is full, you can turn to Reiboot to fix it as well. Also keep your iPhone connected to computer, and in this part we're gonna choose Repair Operating System. Please note that it won't cause any data loss, so go ahead and click Fix Now. Then hit Download to get the latest firmware of your iPhone. Once the download finished, click Repair Now. Reiboot will start to repairing. The running bar shows the repair process. Once completed, that means your iPhone get to normal again. Well done. If you're stuck on this issue when you factory reset your iPhone, then iTunes might not work again. It's probably related to the firmware. But no worries, you can still fix this issue by using Reiboot. Click on the third button on the upper right corner in Reiboot and choose factory reset iPhone. As it's called factory reset, you should know that it will erase all the data on your device. Once you confirm, Click Fix Now. Download the firmware on Reiboot. Then click Repair Now. When the repair finished, your iPhone will be put into factory settings. Now you can use this as a brand new one. Okay. That's all, hope you've already solved this issue after following the solutions in this video. If it helps, don't forget to give us a like. I'll be grateful if you subscribe. See you in next video.